So at a glance, when I saw this question, I was surprised and I checked my channel again. I was shocked that having run this YouTube channel for like three years, I've not spoken about the popular glycolytic pathway. Well, I would say that my biochemistry contents are kind of like not really much, but I'm working on it, okay? Working on it. So here we actually would clearly outline the relevant. Okay, okay, clearly using okay. Outline clearly using relevant structures. That's the glycolytic pathway. So what they actually require from you is you withdraw the glycolytic pathway. After drawing it, you still explain it step by step. So once you can be able to draw the glycolytic pathway, this question is like a take-home question because you are just simply, okay, let me say I draw it now. So this glucose to glucose 6 phosphate is what I'm describing at the first step. Where is the enzyme there? The enzyme there is hexokinase. This is hexokinase here. Do you get it? So once you can be able to draw it, then that's all. Okay, so you learn how to draw it. And this image actually looks very sexy to me. So I think if you want to learn how to draw any image of glycolysis, please learn how to draw this one, this particular one, all right? So let's have an overview before we kickstart. We say that the glycolytic pathway is also known as what? Glycolysis. It is a series of enzymatic reactions that take place so that glucose can be broken down into pyruvate, okay? So for this glucose to become pyruvate, that's where the problem came in and me and you were actually suffering, okay? If there was no glucose, then this problem would have not been in the world, right? So it actually produced a series of ATPs and NADH along the process, right, which we'll be looking at. It is actually a crucial part of cellular respiration that occurs in the cytoplasm of the cells and doesn't require oxygen. All right, so here's a breakdown. For step one, we have already explained it. Glucose is converted into what? Glucose 6-phosphate. The enzyme there is what? Hexokinase, right? And we are saying ATP is used so that what? This glucose can become phosphorylated. When I'm saying phosphorylation, we're simply saying what? Phosphate group is being added to glucose at position 6. That's why it is what glucose 6 phosphate. Just understand it basically. Then, for the second step, is what conversion of this glucose 6 phosphate to fructose 6 phosphate. All right, so glucose 6 phosphate all the way to this guy. What's the enzyme there? Phosphoglucoisomerase. So, when they are saying isomerase, isomers. You are rearranging the structure of glucose to become fructose. You get. All right. So the next one is what? This fructose 6 phosphate to what? Fructose 1 6 by phosphate. What do you notice there? Fructose 6 phosphate just at position 6. Fructose is having phosphate at position 6 only. Now, when you add another phosphate at position 1, it becomes 2 phosphate. That's what I say by phosphate. So fructose 1 6 biphosphate right what's the enzyme there we are here now we should we use only one image once you know how to draw the image everything is the same thing okay so um the enzyme there is what phosphofructokinase all right so phosphofructokinase we come back to this this one too it's the same phosphofructokinase right so just but let me tell you something if you get to see any pathway or reaction in biochemistry that has many ways of drawing it. Please don't learn how to draw two. Just learn one. You always get your full marks with any one you learn. So this one is straight down. This one is actually what? Kind of like coming like this, going like this, going like this. All right. So any one you want to learn, just find one and work with it. Okay. So ATP is used here. Now just find a place and draw the diagram. So like, let's go fast. Then um this fructose, one six biphosphate, will be converted to what? Glyceraldehyde three phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate, right? So the enzyme used here is what? Aldolase, all right? So this dihydroxyacetone is converted to what? Glyceraldehyde three phosphate by triphosphate isomerase, okay? So I think, where are we? Glyceraldehyde. Okay, wait. Okay, okay. We are actually here, right? Here. Converted to what? Glyceraldehyde. Or converted to dehydroxyacetone, then converted to glyceraldehyde again. 
you get so now the fifth fifth step is what glyceride three phosphate will be converted to what one three by phosphor glyceride okay so glyceride height three phosphates will be converted to what one three by phosphor glyceride okay so the enzyme there is what glyceride high three phosphate dehydrogenase okay the next one is what this one three by phosphor glyceride will be converted to what three phosphor glyceride okay let's go three phosphor glyceride right so we have two steps to finishing then um, we have this three phosphor glyceride will be converted to two phosphor glyceride okay enzyme there is what phosphor glyceride mutase all right so two phosphor glyceride will be converted to what phosphor enol pyruvate the enzyme there is what enolase okay then lastly this phosphor enol pyruvate will be converted to what pyruvate the enzyme there is what pyruvate kinase all right so during the process um four atps are produced why two atps are consumed all right so a total, total number of what two ATPs are left. Two NADH are produced and two pyruvate molecules will be produced. All right. So lastly, glycolysis is actually a foundational pathway. It's a pathway that every biochemistry student must know. All right. Must know. All right. So it's a foundational pathway for cellular energy production and also provides intermediates for other metabolic pathways. Okay. So that's it.